Enkidu? Yes, they used to call me so. Oh. A lion. Nice. So, half man, half lion. I need your help. My help? I don't think I can help you. I am no longer Enkidu. I am just his shadow. There is no longer any strength in my arms. I'm not here because of your legendary strength, Enkidu. I'm here because of your friendship with Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh? I need you to talk to Gilgamesh. Mankind is in peril. Mankind's power to hand down stories is threatened by a demon named Oblivion. Only Gilgamesh can defeat him by going back to Uruk and telling his tale. But the evil Oblivion convinced Gilgamesh to join him in the eternal forgetting. You are the only one whom Gilgamesh trusts in. Please, talk to him and convince him. You can't imagine how much I wish I could speak with Gilgamesh, even if just for one last time. Gilgamesh was the best friend I ever had. Not a single day goes by that I don't miss him. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to leave this place. Not even for a second. But there must be a way for you to get in contact with Gilgamesh. Perhaps as an apparition. If there was a way for me to appear to my beloved Gilgamesh, I would have already done it. But it's impossible. Damn it. There's no way. I'm sure there's a way, guys. There is. There has to be a way. Tell me about Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh was my one true friend. The gods, annoyed by his power, created me to kill him. We fought for a whole day, from one dawn till the next, but no one succeeded in besting the other. Until then, I had never had to fight a man so strong and so brave. After the fight, we forged a solemn pact of friendship. No pact has ever been solemner. We didn't just become friends. We became as one. One thought, one action. So many memorable deeds, so many deep conversations. But the gods did not create me to give unto Gilgamesh a friend. So they decided to take my life. I don't know how Gilgamesh reacted to my demise, but had I witnessed his death, I would have gone mad. Mm, interesting. What's Limbus? Who is Limbus? Tell me about Limbus. Some call this place Limbus. Oh. Others Hades. Others the Underworld. Or simply Hell. Here dwell the souls of those who are no longer on Earth. What's it like being here? I mean, how is it to spend eternity in a place like this? It's not that bad. Here you can finally find the time to pursue your own thoughts. But don't you get bored? You're still alive. You can't hope to understand. Here time is like... Suspended. It doesn't flow like it does on Earth. Doesn't flow... Hmm. I really need for you to talk to Gilgamesh. You can't imagine how much I wish I could speak with Gilgamesh. Even if just for... Okay. Unfortunately. Alright, alright. There must be a way... If there were... But it's imp Damn it! Thanks for the chat. You're welcome. Okay, so what do we do, guys? He has to become a spirit. Um, can we show him medallion? That won't get me anywhere. We we'll show him something else. We can make him invisible by wearing, by giving him that invisibility cloak. And then we can get past the guards. Will it work? It might work. Okay, so my cloak is over and... Um, you know what we should do? We should talk to uh, Merlin first. Yes, let's talk to Merlin.
he might be able to help. But I doubt it, guys. <laughs> Welcome back, Alfred. How can I help you? I met Enkidu. He would gladly speak with Gilgamesh, but I have no idea how to get them together. Then it's time to think outside the box, dear Alfred. What do you mean? I'm sure you'll figure it out on your own. Oh Go man. Through. Waste no time. There's not a minute to lose. Soon Oblivion and Gilgamesh will be one. Think outside the box. I have no further questions for Go now. Outside the box. Hmm. Literally outside the box. So find the box first. <laughs> and then we go outside the box to solve the problem. Outside the box, what does that mean? I still want to uh, go pick up the invisibility cloak, guys, in my work. So go back to... Um, where was the cloak? Gilgamesh, is that the place? Uh, the place where we took the medallion from. And the medallion is over at, um... I don't remember, guys. Yikes. Okay, I don't think this is the place. Oh, it is! Wow! Lucky me. Doesn't work, guys. Uh, we can't make him invisible. What do we do? Should we go back to the other worlds and uh, look up those items one by one? Maybe one of them is correct. Will give me an idea of how it works. Think outside the box. I don't understand. Outside the box. Put you in a box. <laughs> and then we transport you out. We can use UPS, guys. Enkidu, the legendary hero of Sumerian mythology. Half man and half beast. UPS World Mail. In this case, um, the Underworld Express. <laughs> Not the FedEx. This is the Underworld Express. We'll mail the package carrying Enkidu <laughs> in that box. <laughs> mail it to the human world, the living world. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright, I'll put you back. Magic bag. Wait, can I? Oh, whoa! Can I put you in the bag? <laughs> put Enkidu in the bag. It's too big. The bag is too small, guys. It's not going to work. <laughs> it's too small. Oh, oh my God! Is it working? It actually worked. Oh, he doesn't have a physical body. He's a spirit. Wow. It's a spirit trap in the underworld. That's why the bag can carry him around. Ah. Okay, so, wow. That was pure luck, guys. <laughs> wow. That actually worked. Okay, it's time to go. Time to go back. Um, yeah, I think it's Gilgamesh. Yes. He can pass through the barrier. Since he doesn't have a physical body, he's already dead. He can do this. Enkidu? 
Gilgamesh, my dear friend. How is this possible? Is this a joke, librarian? My Help. beloved Gilgamesh, I don't know how this is possible. Perhaps the gods took pity on me and allowed me to speak with you at least one more time. Don't listen to him, Gilgamesh. It's a lie. Enkidu is dead. This is just one of Merlin's pathetic tricks. Gilgamesh, I don't know if this is real. You're still alive, and you still have a heart. So don't listen to me, or that demon. Listen to your heart, and let me speak to you from there. Oh, Enkidu. Not a single day has passed without me thinking of you, deep in my heart. Do you know what this means, man? This means that even if the gods took my life, I survived in the hearts and minds of those who loved me. This is true, but what's the point of it all? What will remain when the gods take my life as well? You already know the answer, Gilgamesh. Nothing will remain. Nothing but the eternal oblivion. So join me, Gilgamesh. No, Gilgamesh, don't listen to him. I wonder the exact same thing, man. What will remain of our friendship? What will remain of our heroic deeds? Nothing. Oh, we'll go back to oblivion. Join me as well, Enkidu. You and your friend Gilgamesh can again be as one. No, Enkidu. Don't listen to him. Gilgamesh, do you remember when we made our solemn pact of friendship? Of course I do. Right after our epic fight. Do you know what I admired the most about you during that fight? It was not your strength, and not even your fighting prowess. I admired your courage. Where is that courage now? Courage is needed to face danger and to perform great feats, my friend. But right now, there is no feat before me worth doing. Couldn't be more wrong, man. Have the courage to hand our memory down onto the hearts of the people of Uruk. So that, even after your death, you can speak to their hearts as I speak to your heart now. So that they can tell of our deeds to other peoples and nations. And so that men can learn from our stories and teach their children. Are you still brave enough to accept this challenge? Will we become lost to oblivion or gain immortality through our deeds? Even I understood that, Gilgamesh. You came here to learn the secret of immortality, and Enkidu has just handed it to you on a silver platter. What a pathetic trick, librarian. Come on, Gilgamesh. A clever man like you can't be fooled that easily. I feel that my time here is up. Farewell, my friend. Gilgamesh! Oblivion. Come to me, Gilgamesh. Now all is clear in my heart. I won't join you. What? Enkidu and I will live forever. It's a lie. You know it's a lie. No, you are the liar! I will go back to Urk, and I will order a scribe to write the epic tale of Enkidu and myself, so that all future generations will know of us, until the end of time. No, that's not how the story's supposed to end. Now! Now! Yeah. Goodbye, Oblivion. So that's how the story ends. Wait, it's all a dream. It's a dream.
We can be. Come on. The story of oblivion. Okay, so this game is just me reading that book and dreaming about it. I just dreamed that all? 40 years later, wow. Am I still the librarian of this place after 40 years? Mr. Walsh, your big day is finally here. Your last day of work. Ooh. From tomorrow on, you can finally enjoy your retirement. Oh, yes. Although, I'll miss my friends. Your friends? Uh, yes. I, I just meant the characters in the books of this library. Oh, I see. I guess you're waiting on me so you can close up the library. Yeah, but there's no hurry, Mr. Walsh. I have just one last thing to do. Please, take your time. I'll be waiting for you outside. Thank you. One last thing to do? To do what? To steal a book. To steal the Book of Oblivion. <laughs> Bring that with me, guys. Oh, write the ending of the story. Wait, 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 wait. The notes is for the next librarian. Oh, maybe I didn't dream it, guys. That really happened. So that piece of paper is supposed to be the warning. Like the warning that I didn't read at the opening of the game. The wind blew that away, remember guys. Wow. Whoa! <laughs> and the cycle continues. Wow. So it's not a dream, guys. I'm glad that it's not a dream. <laughs> wow, okay. That is a very nice game. I like this game a lot. Retro style adventure gaming. The retro graphics. I do. I do find this game charming, guys. Yes. Very very nice game. Loving the story. And and the gameplay is uh, yeah. It has its own little flavor, I suppose. So you have to travel. Um, travel from book to book. And yeah, one of the most uh, difficult thing about this game is that uh, the bag, the capacity of the bag, that you can only hold one item at a time from a world. So that's interesting from the gameplay point of view. And I guess uh, some people may find it annoying too, but you have to go back to the worlds to find that one useful item to bring it with you to where you want it to be. So yeah, that could be annoying. Yes, but uh, overall, I do like I do like this a lot. It is different having so many worlds in the games, and then you can go back to them at any time. So that is Flash, I like that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this game. Enjoy this as much as I do. And yeah, I will see you next time, people. So, party here. Signing out. Bye.